listening to this really, really cute cafe. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I hope you can. And it's gonna be so cute. We're actually gonna do this whole day by myself and have a fun summer day. So, audition. So, I'm to you guys around with me right now. They have like this huge menu, and I'm all wrong because everything is so good. It's just so yummy. So, I'm not gonna go up there till I'm ready. I'm gonna try to get their menu online and then figure it all out and then go around. So, let's see what I'm doing. Okay guys, we already came and I got avocado toast and this like cacao coffee, it really sounded so good. It's actually so good. Resources that I want to use, how much I'm going to study, how long my studying is going to last, and now I'm going to create a plan that I'm going to follow every single day to make sure that I am successful. This is very fun. I feel like it could get really overwhelming. I changed my perspective on like that nothing is really hard. It just matters about how determined you are to complete the task. You can do anything. And the only thing that will actually make you complete that is your, your determination and your consistency. There's nothing that's actually hard. We just make it hard in our heads. I'm really like trying to believe myself and tell myself that I can do it because I can. And I just have to believe it. I put in the work, which is what I'm doing. But this is a really good really fun and I really want to do things like this more because I feel like I usually do this with other people, which is a very fun thing in itself and I really appreciate that and I love that side but I'm just realizing I'm, I'm just not realizing that doing it solo is just a whole nother vibe I really love it on my way to the, to the car from the cafe I found this like antique shop I got like these two um like crystal let me show you guys. I just thought it was really cute to wear my waist with like shirts and linen pants. It could be like a waist weed. They're like crystals and they're real. Cause everything here is like vintage. And then there's this one. But I just don't know if they're gonna fit, so I have to try it on. Glitter on the back. These look really big though. Okay, seven and a half. That's not what I'm thinking.
both of these waist thingies on. I think they're actually supposed to be necklaces, but I want it for my waist thingies. This is how it looks. I kind of put it a little tighter, but I really like it. Shore store for sure. I love both of them. I think I'm actually gonna get this one. This one is really nice, but number one, I don't have a lot of money today, and number two, it's I wouldn't really wear it as a waist bead, it would just be a necklace. So it's not that serious. I really came here for a waist thingy. How much is this even? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yay, I got it. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. Sushi so much that I've just been forced to learn how to use chopsticks. When somebody will like, get ice cream, I feel like when somebody gets ice I got coffee and strawberry milk. Little deer under the trampoline. So cute. my best friend Zoe and I wanted to show you guys the perfect night routine the night routine that's gonna make you relax get you the best skin make you wake up feeling energized and just the it girl night routine I just came up from a long day of having fun and I want to wind down now and I want to have a good night 
So you have to start early. Now it's like 7.30ish. The sun is still out, but it's about to start to set. So I know that this is the perfect time to come home and wind down and just get the night started. I'll show you what I do to feel my best the next morning and also sleep comfortably, okay? Because sleep is very important and growing up is realizing that sleep is very vital, okay? Very, very vital. So we're gonna start with face mask, of course. Okay, so we're going to make the mask that will literally change your life. When I say change your life, I really mean it. Like, take my word, take my word for it. This mask cleared my acne, closed my pores, took away any discoloration. Like, this really saved my skin. And it's all organic, so that's also another plus, of course. We don't use any <laughs> American products here. Chemicals? Not in this household. First off, we're gonna start with queso powder. This powder is straight from Somalia. Do I have to say anything else? Straight from Somalia. Queso powder is known for eliminating hyperpigmentation, uh, clearing out your um, skin, just making it like a blurred effect. And then we have 100% organic honey, okay? Straight from the bees, yeah. So we're gonna mix the queso powder like very um, little amount of honey and then we're gonna like put the tiniest bit of water just to get it into like a paste so let's do that let's mix up the potion this much queso powder this is really expensive so not too much and then for the honey Queso powder, it's one of those where you also have to like rub with your hands. So work it in and it also acts as an exfoliator since it's a powder. So it really takes off any dead skin. Oh, it already feels so smooth. And just for reference, um this is the next day. Like it's not the same day that I went to get sushi and I went on my solo cafe day. Um I just came back from hanging out with my bestie, as I said. So, yeah. Just gonna massage that everywhere. I honestly really seen the biggest change with this, like guys, trust me. I did not always have nice skin. So, just really make sure like you're massaging it in, in your pores because it can take away all the dead skin. So if you don't have queso powder, you can do whatever mask is your favorite just to wind down and treat your skin. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Ooh, I definitely did make too much, yikes. That makes me feel really bad. I'm gonna be giving this to my sister right now. Okay, while your mask is marinating in your skin and just beautifying it from the inside out, you're gonna clean your room. Why? Because we sleep in a clean space. Clean space equals clean mind, and we don't want no brain fog, no mental fatigue, none of that. So the state of my room is not that bad because I like to keep up with it. But let me show you guys how it looks. I do just have some things on my bed. I was wearing that pajamas, yoga mat, my book bag, some water, and then some more things here. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad, but definitely could do some cleaning. So let's do that right now. much better definitely more organized okay now i'm gonna pick out some comfy cute pajamas that i want to wear when i get out the shower so that i can 
feel pretty and cutesy and clean and all the good things. Let's go do that. <laughs> Okay, we picked out our pajamas, we have it laid out, and now we're gonna get ready for a very needed everything shower. We're gonna exfoliate, hair mask, uh, lather our body in an oil after, and just really, really get clean and wind down. And we're doing this not too late. As you guys can see, it's still light outside because we don't go to sleep late. Hello, we need our sufficient amount of hours of sleep to feel well rejuvenated and rested so that we can carry our day, our day tomorrow with energy and energy and excitement. Now it's time for our shower and you're gonna pay, pick your best body products that make your skin feel the softest. For me, that is this um, scalp and body scrub. Literally smells amazing. I can smell it forever. And then one of my favorite body washes, I mean body wash, one of my favorite leave-in conditioners, also the same brand. These work wonders for me, but this can look different from person to person. So do what's best for you. Just make sure it's comforting for you and you feel good and you smell good. You look good, all of that. So let's go take a shower. Also, also, at the end of your shower, try to put the water all the way cold. Because not only is it good for your physical body, but it's good for, for you mentally. It's a challenge, of course. Okay, we just got the shower. That was absolutely like one of the best showers that i've had in a while now it's time for skincare korean skincare of course and i'm gonna show you guys what products i use oh yeah by the way i lathered my body in vitamin e oil i literally feel so soft right now as for the skincare i use korean skincare of course i use the snail mucin and then i use the all-in-one creams use this and look like this Guys, my skin literally feels amazing after that mask. And then those products honestly just do it for me so well. I just got done with my shower and my everything shower and I literally feel so clean. I'm going to finish off with the best perfume to ever exist in the world. My brother got me it for my birthday. And it's pretty popular, I'm not gonna lie. It is the Yara perfume. But guys, I'm not gonna even lie, like I get the hype. It smells so good and I'm so scared for it to finish. I don't want it to finish. I literally just do two sprays every single time. One on my neck and one on my wrist totally missed that um and it i just i get so many compliments on this perfume it's crazy it's my night snack for tonight is some jasmine tea with 100 honey so yummy one of my favorites and then the star of the show i got these caramel coffee almonds from trader joe's you guys these are so yummy i think they're new because i have never seen them before um, but you guys should definitely try them if they have it at your Trader Joe's. They are so good. So I'm going to have these. And I'm going to just scroll on Pinterest and wind down for the night. 